yeah. Teasy. Big propaganda and wrestling podcast. Uh. Let's go. Big propaganda. Building. And today, I gotta start today. clapping already. You gonna clap? I'm gonna start clapping already. Shows this weekend, we come in and I had a good time. Mm-hmm. Got to speak. That's what I. That's when I came in. So I had to Same. say, everybody else will. All the old guys will. Oh, there's mama right there. Yeah, there's mama right there, man. Yeah, that's Quentin. That's Angel. Hey, what's up, brother? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Oh, no, Ladies and gentlemen, once again, you are back rocking with the Big Propaganda Wrestling Podcast Network. We are live in full effect in Houston, Texas, as always, in the historical Third Ward, Texas, enriched with black culture for the culture in the month of the culture. As always, we are doing it big, man. Make sure y'all stay in tune. Like, comment, subscribe to all social media platforms. We on too many to name. All you got to do is just search us up. You're going to find us, man. So you know what you went doing, too. So before we get into all that, man, huge shout-out to our sponsors at Proven by Arlena, man. Handcrafted, made in Italy, genuine leather, genuine lambskin, genuine python, man. This shoe right here is endorsed by champions, boxers, football, baseball players, Olympic athletes. This is one of a kind. Limited edition. You can only be one of the chosen few to get some of these right here, bro. So get them on your feet and get elite and make sure you are proven, man. That is the main goal. The perfect combination of the contemporary basketball shoe mixed with the designer runner. You can see it right now. It's perfection, man. We got a display for y'all so y'all can finally see it in y'all face. Made in Italy, man. This is what we're doing. So make sure y'all check her out at Instagram at Proven by Alina and Facebook at Proven by Alina. And also check her out on X, formerly known as Twitter or at Leaving Alina is Proven. So, man, this ain't about me too much today because this, this, this is what we got going on right now is really epic, man. This is it's a big deal, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a multi-divisional champion in the building multi-promotional champion in the building. This guy has been rising to the occasion time after time, steady showing you his worth, proving himself. February 17th, he gets ready for the biggest match of his career to date. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the man from Planet Dread, the Pineapple Lord himself, Kenny Calypso. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me once again. Big deal. Big outfit. Big hair. Big drip. It's all in the big building, drip. man. I yeah. feel you. What's the deal? Man, it just, it's good to have you once again, brother. I uh, appreciate you stopping by, man. And It's a, di- it's a different feel to this one right now because it, it, it's a big deal, man, coming up next week, bro. It's, uh-huh. it, it's a lot of things going on. I just feel like it's your time right now, my brother. And I couldn't be more proud of you than I am right now, man. Just the way you kept grinding, kept sticking to everything you're doing, staying disciplined, man, staying involved with the community, and just kept giving everything your all. It's all paying off for you, man. So giving you your flowers right now, man. You deserve them. And, bro, the best of luck to you coming up to next week. But let's go ahead and dive into it, man. I just want to know what's been going on with you and how – You've been mentally and physically preparing for this big main event match coming up February 17th, WrestleRave 17. How's it going, man? Well, first off, uh, 
glad you called it re- uh, Russell Rave. I'm about to say Mania. Russell Rave. <laughs> 17, you know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an X7 guy. Okay, okay. I'm an okay. X7 guy. But uh mentally and physically preparing. See, I just been doing my thing with my brother Nick. Yeah. Shout out to my dog. He over there losing a squash match to the uh allergies, them seasonal allergies. Yeah. So, send my man some well wishes. Uh but traveling around with my boy Nick and staying in the gym, staying in training. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just always doing some pull ups, always doing some push ups, always hitting the road, like every weekend, man. Yeah. That uh I'm just not I'm not switching up anything. This is what got me to the dance. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And man, just the work you've been putting in is incredible, man. And just the opportunity you are getting next week is one not to be taken lightly, man. Look at me, dog. Look at me. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> Look at me. Preview, man. You oh, already know, man. We look at that main event, Kenny, right now, man. It's this is a huge deal. Mm-hmm. I won't just because I'm smiling, happy. I'm always skipping, yeah. chilling. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's, this is what you usually see, don't mean I don't mean I can't be serious, dog. Yeah. This is big deal. Mm-hmm. Russell Ray has been taking care of your boy for the last year and a half plus. I just been showing up doing my thing. Yeah, definitely. They gave me my own show. Mm. They allowed your boy to kick his feet up. Take your mania. You know what I'm saying? They they allowed your boy to. Be himself, and now I'm able to give my friends a platform. Mm. My homies on. Mm-hmm. That's real cool to me. Yeah, yeah. It's a big deal. It's a big deal, man. Mm-hmm. Just to second that, bro, it's just um, you never let the people down. You never let the people that's behind you down either. You're always rising to the occasion, whether it's a tag match Singles match, multi man match, whatever, whatever the limitations is, whatever the uh, 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 the stipulation is, you always rise to the occasion, man. Just, just, I just really want to know, man. Just like this is this is a big deal, man. This is the heavyweight championship you got coming up. Mm-hmm. So, what does that wrestle wave heavyweight championship mean to you, man? What does this opportunity really mean to you? This is the biggest uh, championship match of my career. No ifs, ands, buts about it. I've been heavyweight champion before, Mm -hmm. twice. And I handled that pressure very well. And I'm ready to do it again. My brother's doing it now. All Fury Pro Champ. Uh, New Texas Texas Contender Series champ. Yeah, yeah. I want to be heavyweight champ with my dog. Yeah, it's only right. It's only right. Yeah, it's only right. But that championship, even without the factor of me wanting to be champion with my brother, it's it's everything, man. You know, when a company allows you to be you, gives you a mm-hmm. platform, and you know, gets behind you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that's real cool and that's it's a stacked roster there, man. Yeah, it is. It is. You know, uh Heidi Howitz are always coming through. Mm. Austin Reddick, mm. uh Dimitri Alexandrov. Yeah. A lot of big names, man. The OG Aaron Mercer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing out amongst these people who are mm. like Texas gods right now. Yeah. So, the fact that I'm acknowledged, the fact that I, I've earned this opportunity. Mm-hmm. They've seen my work. They've seen my effort in front of the cameras and behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Man, this, I'm not going to let the company down, and I'm not going to let the fans down. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, because being a heavyweight champion not only comes with how you present yourself inside the ring and in the locker room, but also how you carry yourself outside the ring as a person, as a man. 
And man, that just goes to show you how much faith these these promoters and this promotion really has in you, you know, to really take it to that next level, man. Next week, you could possibly be the face of WrestleRave, man. Heavyweight champion, man. How does that really feel to you knowing that's coming? Feels damn good. <laughs> for sure, for sure, man. Let's feels go. Feels <laughs> damn good. Bex. I just, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready, man. I've been working for this. Mm. You know, all I've been doing is just, you know, grinding. Mm. Just trying to get better. You know, taking them ear beatings in training. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we know all about those. Yeah. Right? yeah we know all yeah. about those. Me and Nick be sw- swapping ear beatings. He's like, yeah. you know you should be doing that. Come yeah. on, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Back and forth. Hilarious. Yeah, man. Yeah. But I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. So let me ask you this, man. Like, personally and professionally, how do you feel mm-hmm. about your opponent, Max? <clears throat> Max Castellanos, yo, uh, personally, I have nothing against him. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Multi-promotional champion as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, Looks like a a family man. Uh, He he trying to make it, you know, just like we all doing. Professionally, uh... I don't know enough. Mm. Like, I see his size. I see his look. Mm. And he looks like a star. Mm. He looks like a champion. But I've beaten Giants before. So just because you big and bad, it, it don't it don't phase me, you know. Yeah, Max I, doesn't always play fair either, from what I've seen. Been there, done that. Like, every possible thing that I've thought of that Max could say, do, or try, I've already been through that mm. in other promotions mm-hmm. with other big people other big guys mm. so i'm battle tested and i'm battle ready mm. let's go max you heard it right here from the man himself man kenny calypso is ready to go to battle man he is not playing coming up next week man this is going to be an epic card uh y'all make sure y'all check it out february 17th hpa houston premier arena wrestle rave 17 man it's going down and just to keep going on that subject, man, it's just it's gonna be an epic card, and you're main event in that card, bro. It's it's a stacked card, man. You got the names of uh, Hoodfoot gonna be on there, Matt Locks coming back, High Ends on the card, and you are main event in that card, bro. That is a big deal right there. It's stacked, you know what I'm saying? This is gonna be epic. That's a lot of weight on your shoulders. It's a uh, it's a lot. You just take that torch, man, and keep going. I messaged uh, Aaron Mercer or commented on the post. Mm. Uh, uh, Aaron Mercer said something. I, I I can't remember what Big Homie said, mm. but uh, I told him it's time for me to carry the torch. Mm. I mean, I one hundred percent feel I fit the mold of Russell Ray. Mm. And ever since Aaron Mercer's been gone, there's been a hole mm. that the only man close has been Dimitri to try to fill. Yeah. Dimitri running things. Mm. If you ask me. Yeah. He holding the flag down. Yeah. Understandable, yeah. I think I can fill that hole. You know what I'm saying? I I know I can fill that hole. Yeah. Well, you got to look at it like this, Kenny. You got the charisma. You got the ability. You have the people. And to me, that's like the main thing right there. If you got the people, nothing else can stop you. 
you have the people, man. You're putting asses in seats, as I like to say. <laughs> asses in seats. <laughs> and when they in the building, they're standing up. That's that's the one of the things that's most important right there. You're selling tickets, kid. That's what they did. <laughs> kid, you're selling tickets. We selling merch. That, that that's what matters right there. It, it's a big deal, man. It's just so you know, one thing I wanna tell you is just never take anything for granted and don't ever doubt yourself, bro, because you was really doing it out here, man. Uh some of my coaches. Some of my friends, some of my family, they all been telling me I don't give myself enough credit. Yeah, man. Because <clears throat> I'm not where I want to be just yet. Mm-hmm. And for me to be one step closer to that Kenny Calypso, mm-hmm. it's winning that Russell Ray Heavyweight Championship, beating Max Castellanos for that belt. This is both if I'm not mistaken, both of our first main events mm-hmm. in that company. But who been grinding in that company longer? Hey, man. It's... They had a, a a belt, and it was supposed to be goofy, ha-ha, funny. Mm-hmm. Your boy got thousands of views on social media yeah. running around with that belt. Yeah, yeah. You made that belt, if you want to be honest with you. You made that belt. You know, sometimes um, it's the man that makes the championship. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, a lot of people was clowning uh, certain championships uh, until they got in certain hands. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And it was just another one. I mean, people clowned our truth all the time. But sh- he made that belt. He made that belt, man. You know he made it. It is what it is, bro. And not even that. Just say prestigious championships. You had... People lose faith in, like, the Intercontinental title at one point. Yep. Somebody comes along and puts their prestige on it, elevates mm-hmm. it, you know. And that's something you do with anything you get your hands on. I uh, don't subscribe to the philosophy that belts are props. Mm. I don't. Uh, you can't tell me that attaining any championship from uh, any – Reputable company mm. is not worth it. They're putting their faith in you. Yes. Extra money behind you. I agree. You know, extra promotion behind you. How's that a prop? I agree. You 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 can't I, I don't I don't I don't subscribe to that. I agree with you. Uh you put a belt in my hands. Mm. I'ma treat that like it's the biggest thing to me. Mm. You know, whether it's the, the, the biggest championship in that company or on the card, it means something. Yeah. I remember when I used to want championships. I remember when I was at the bottom, you know what I'm saying, looking up. You know, now I'm in a good, comfortable, cushy spot. Yeah. You know, probably the most decorated young boy in the last five years to come through Houston Premier Arena. Yeah. You know. I'm a six-time. I, I can stand with that. I, I, I can stand with that, man. I, I feel you on that, bro. I, I, In WrestleRave alone, hey, man, I'm a six-time champ. Hmm. A six-time, anytime, anywhere champ. Mm-hmm. Say what you want about the belt. I got thousands of views off of that. Yeah, man. I had so much fun with that. And the company, time and time again, trusted me mm. with that belt. Yeah. Belts that... You know, some of my big homies don't take serious. It's fine. Yeah. It's okay. It's fine, man. It's okay. It's fine. But you have to look at the end game and the end goal of everything. Things like that is what got you to the point you are now. It crafted and molded the man that's finna possibly take home this championship come next week, man. Mm-hmm. This is what it's all about, the work. This is the grind. This mm-hmm. is the come up, man. This is what paying your dues is all about. Mm-hmm. This is what it is, man. And so, for you to be in the position you are in now, I couldn't be any more proud of you, my brother. I appreciate I'm you. I'm glad you are here doing your thing. And I am i can't wait to see next week, man. I'm ecstatic. I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? After this, I know it's going to be a Tiki Mania 2 hey. heavyweight championship hey. on the line. It's, it's, it's going to be going up, man. Bring on Tiki Mania 2. Give me another reason yeah, man, to so. fill Houston Premier Arena up again, please. 
Cause I'm doing it yeah. February 17th. Yeah. Best believe. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm bringing, hey, come out with your pineapples. Come out with your streamers. You know what I'm saying? I love streamers. But you know I love my pineapples too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, bring bring it bring it all. Uh the homie Alex with the megaphone. Yo. Boo, that guy. Shout out Alex, man. Shout out What's to my up, boy bro? Alex, boy. <laughs> Come through. You know, buy that ticket. Bro, I it's no doubt in my mind mm. that place is gonna be packed. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely gonna be packed, man. It's gonna be a big deal. It's gonna be pandemonium in that building, man. It's tensions are gonna be high. It's it's going to be a movie, man. It's going to be something crazy. It's going to be something epic. It's going to be something to see, man. If if you were in Houston, you're a fan of indie wrestling. You're a fan of this man right here, Kenny Calypso, man. And if you support this guy, you will be in attendance February 17th. If you support WrestleRave, you will be in attendance February 17th. This is a big deal. WrestleRave X7, Houston Premier Arena. February 17th, I'm main event for the first time for the heavyweight championship. You know, I had my own show. Mm -hmm. I ain't main event, but it did was your I? Own show. Did, did I, though? You know, not to disrespect anybody really? else on the really? card, but really, though? <laughs> did, did I, though? You know? I mean, just because. Union Yamora was there, so let me, let me. Let me let me pipe down. Cause okay, so let's say this: just because you didn't have the match, last match of the night, does it really mean you didn't have the main event of the night? That's how you got to look at stuff sometimes. Like you know, you you you're more. I'm trying to get to his level, so I'm a <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm a I'm a pipe down. But that 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 it it was they were standing up in attention. Mm -hmm. You know, it, even though it was quiet, they was watching. I yeah. had we had them. Yeah, we had it. It, it was definitely a a big deal in the atmosphere in that building. Mm -hmm. That um, that it was different, bro. It was um, like I know we talked after the show, and I told you, like you know, what I'm saying, put you to the side and talked to you and told you how I felt about everything. Like, yeah. you know, it was just you know what I'm saying. It was proud for me to see. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was a good thing, man. Just for. You know what I'm saying? Young brother like yourself to be in that position to have his own, you know, through a promotion like that is a lot of people don't get that, man, especially on the indies. You know, it's only a certain few, and they have to have a certain type of pedigree or, or status. You know what I'm saying? And it just shows where your status is and how your community, you know what I'm saying, fuck with you. It, it, it's, it's cool, bro. I love it. I scratched and clawed to get that. Mm. Did things that my trainers wouldn't really what's what's to say, give me the green light to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I did things that my friends probably wouldn't do. Mm. Just to just to get my reps in, just to mm. just to wrestle, get my experience up. Mm. And, you know, it's paying off. It's really paying off. And it's good to see. There's uh peaks and valleys in in this business. You mm. know what I'm saying? And I had a smile through, on my face through it all. Skipped through it all. Dope slides on. Through it all. <laughs> Elbow through it all, man. Mm -hmm. Drop kick through it all. <laughs> Frog splash through it all, man. What can you say? He did it all. Carried the pineapple through it all, man. My brother did it. Shout all out to Baba Calypso. She started something crazy. Mama. <laughs> mama. Shout out Mama. She the one. <laughs> she the one, for real. Yo, man. Um, it's just man, it's just crazy to be at this this point now, man. And so, like going back and everything you've been through to get to this point now, to main event, to possibly challenge for this belt and come home to Victor, man, and bring this thing back to mama. Mm-hmm. Black History Month. In Black History Month, my brother. my First black champ. My brother, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I made a post. Uh, can't exactly remember, mm. uh, but I'm, I'm going to go find it. I, I said I had two goals okay. in 2024. 
two main goals. I got more, but What's your two these, main? Are, these, these are the ones that are important to me. Mm-hmm. I wanted to uh, main event a Wrestle Rave show because I've never done it. Okay. This was actually after I was named number one contender. Mm. Uh, I wanted to main event a Wrestle Rave show, and I wanted to make history. I have the opportunity to do both. Look what God do, man. Yeah. For real. Like, I firmly believe in speaking things into existence. All this, all this, I used to sit at home crying and thinking about, man. Mm. It's just spoken into existence. But, fam, I wanted to re- main event, a Wrestle Rave show, mm. and I wanted to make history. I'm about to do both. In one night. In one night. In one night. Mm hmm. <sighs> Man, this is a big deal, man. A lot of people don't understand the passion you have for this business, the passion you have just behind a single match, a mm-hmm. single night, a single moment mm-hmm. that can change your life forever. Mm-hmm. This is a big deal, man. And you just got to be in attendance to see this, man, because this is yeah. going to be incredible, man. This man right here. Go on Eventbrite, you know what I'm saying? Follow the Wrestle Rave page. They got links all over the place. Yes, they they keep on posting. They keep on promoting. I keep on sharing. Mm-hmm. Come on. Buy them tickets. Come through. See your boy. Make history. Main event, his first Wrestle Rave show. It's Did I say that right? Yeah. It's my first main event of a Wrestle Rave yeah. show. It's the first main event of a Wrestle Rave show, man. <laughs> and it's definitely going down. It's, it's going to be something, man. It's going to be spectacular, bro. And... I just want to, um, man, I just want to ask you, like, this, despite, you know, all the success you have, there was also some failures also, man. Mm-hmm. You know, did any setbacks you had in this journey really, like, discourage you at any one point? It's just like, man, I don't know if I want to keep doing this, man. It just I know I'm working, I'm grinding, but I don't know if it's going to pay off like how I want to, man. I just... I don't I don't see the, the the end to it, you know, like how I want. Did anything just really get to you to a point where you just almost said, I'm not gonna do this anymore? In the beginning, in the very beginning while I was in uh Texas All Star, mm. uh my life was crazy. Uh and uh I wasn't able to make it to practice like I wanted to, like I said I was going to do. I wasn't able to uh, make it to these shows, and I saw my friends who are top guys with me. Mm -hmm. They grinding, busting their ass, Mm -hmm. winning championships, and I'm just at home like, come on, need a break. Uh, But my coach kept calling me. Uh, shout out to uh, Terry Calhoun of uh, Texas All Star Wrestling. Uh, shout out Scoby Gober, uh, J- Jason Sullivan. They kept calling me, uh, putting me back in the ring, and just having faith in me that I didn't have in me. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what kept me going. Mm-hmm. Uh, faith from my coaches, faith in myself, faith in my family. Even if any one of them was low, somebody, somebody wanted me to succeed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that's that's good to have that support. You know, it's good to have people in your corner. It's good to have people that have faith in you. It's good to have people that have your back. At the end of the day, man, you know what I'm saying. You're gonna need that in this business. You're gonna need that in this community. You know. Um, in his lifetime, it takes a village. Hey, <laughs> baby, I couldn't. Pineapple Lord, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Pineapple Lord. <laughs> he said the best. I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't say it better myself. He, there you go. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You see why this man it, it could, could possibly be the face, man, because um, he's got it. I mean, like, man, Kenny, do you ever, like, Sit back and think, like, is that something you really ready for? To be the face of a company, to be the guy? All the time. I did it with PWF. Mm-hmm. I did it with multiple companies. 
Yeah. You know, PWF is the, the biggest stage that I've done it on. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, I'm ready. Yeah. You know, soon I hope to be having this conversation with you about uh, New Texas. Yeah. Uh, Inspire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Any the other companies around the United States that, you know, put faith in me. Mm-hmm. I hope to be having that conversation with you or this conversation with you again yeah. about another championship and another promotion. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm ready. Yeah, definitely. Man, this one just feels different to me, man. It's just it just it got a different feel to it, man. I know when everybody's coming in that arena <laughs> come next week, man, it's just it's gonna be a different atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot on the line, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of stake. It's going to be emotional that night, man. It's going to be big, man. I just, I can't wait for it, bro. I can't wait for it. It's, it's going to be amazing. Like you said earlier, look at the people on the card, man. Mm-hmm. We got Hyun. She dope. Dope. We got dope. Hoodfoot. He dope. Dope. Uh, Dimitri. Come on now. Yeah, man. My brother. Come on now. Nah. Yeah, man. You you got to be crazy if you don't think my boy dope. Man. Just Nick, man. It's going to be crazy. He throw, the, he throw some of the craziest clothes. I'm a clothesline, Mark. Boba shot Lariat. That Boba shot Lariat, stupid. His uh The stuff that he do when he get in the ring, when he fight up, he yeah. cocked that. Mm! Yeah, yeah. It, man. It's going to be crazy, bro. It's going to be crazy. And just like you main event in that court after. Man. All that, man. Man. So I just hope the crowd keep enough energy. Just keep, you know what I'm saying? Keep their eyes open. They gonna, and just wait long enough to witness greatness at the end of the night. They're going to stay for me. Because this ain't the first time I main evented this year. Mm. This ain't the first time I main evented a show. Main evented multiple prom- promotions. Mm-hmm. I had the the pleasure of main eventing uh Texas Contender Series. You know, I've had the pleasure of main event uh, PWF multiple times. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, now it, it's, it's for WrestleRay. They're going to stay. My people going to stay. Yeah. Because sure. they, they want to see your boy climb that mountain and stand atop it, sit atop it, chilling. Yeah. I just want to see the streamers. I just want to see the streamers. I'm so boy, like, I, I want to see my boy hit the corner, top man, rope with the belt in his hand, man. and the streamers get to flying across. The, that's all I want to see. Man, yo. Uh, <laughs> shout out to. Come with a backpack full of streamers. <laughs> Come with the baby. What you got that backpack? The streamers in there. You know what I came to do. We, we, we finna turn it. When, when that belt goes up, these streamers go in. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna turn it up, man. It's gonna be loud. I always won the streamers. Shout out to uh, a couple of my fans, uh, mm. Heather and Teresa. They they threw streamers and mm. uh, confetti at your boy. When me and Nick uh, was defending our tag team championships yeah. for the first time at PWF, they threw streamers because yeah. uh, uh, for my birthday, they told me happy belated birthday. That yeah, was that's cool. That's dope. That that's was dope, cool because I used to watch. Ring of Honor all the I'll time, you, man. you know what I'm saying. I'll all they you. had was was the uh, they had cool pyro. Yeah, sometimes you know what I'm saying. But what did it for me was them the streamers, streamers. You the know, streamers what I'm just saying? hit different because that's the fans throwing them like, yes, dog. And then you know it's going to the other side of the ring. If somebody grab a chunk it back, yeah. okay, bet. We, yeah, you know what I'm saying. We in them. Yeah, Japanese uh, uh, pro wrestling back in the uh, '90s. I think they used to throw streamers yeah, and stuff all the time. All the time crazy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they threw crazy amount of streamers like, in the ring. Dog, crazy it, amount. Like you said, it hit different. It hit different, bro. It hit different, man. But look, man, we're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we will be with the Pineapple Lord, the man from Planet Dread, Kenny Calypso, man. Keep rocking with the PWO. We'll be right back. Comfort. Confidence. Fashion forward. Nobody can be you but you. Nobody can be you but you. Nobody can be you but you. Nobody can be you. Proven more than a shoe.
It's you. Okay, we are back on the Big Propaganda Wrestling Podcast Network. I'm here with the one and only, man, the multi-divisional, multi-promotional champion, the man from Planet Dread, the Pineapple Lord himself, Kenny Calypso. He is in the building, man. Yep, bef- yep, yep. Before we get into anything more, I just want to have a quick toast with you, my brother. Just to yeah, a bright future coming ahead, a great match, a potential win, and just man, bigger and better things, man, and more greatness to keep coming to you, my brother. Amen to that. Keep likewise. Shining. Thank you. Oh, that's the Jack Daniels, y'all. If my boy Nick was here, he'd be like sponsored by Beatbox, but <laughs> this this my show. It's my show. So this sponsored by Jackie Jack Daniels, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. This this man, this man keep me right, keep me level headed when I do decide to drink, but y'all know what I really do, you know. Take to see whiskey. You know, I really do. I bought the big papers and the big filters because it's a big deal. <laughs> Oh, big pack, huh? Big pack. Big, 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 big pack. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Your boy feeling lovely. Yeah, for sure, man. But, you know, you got Wrestle Rave, and you also got a big match coming up, too, next week with the boy Dustin the Wind Dragon, man. Yeah, Texas boy. the series, man. How, how you feeling about that, too? Man, this going to be dope. I'm finna put on two bangers in a week. Yeah, man. That's going to be dope. It's Become be dope. champion. Uh, probably become number one contender for the Texas Contender Series Championship, cause you know what I'm saying my brother holding it down. But yeah. I'm I've been I've been around the title scene for too long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't trying to be no gatekeeper. So come on, facts. Come on, Nick. Let's burn it down one more time. Facts. Uh, but yo, Dustin, love you, dog. I've been watching you train. I've been watching you go viral with my boy Nick, you know, going. (laughs) My boy Cole, he doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, He he a dreamer too. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? We both got big dreams of being something Mm -hmm. in this industry or something big, you know. So this is one step closer. So, Dustin, just because I'm – about to go against Max Castellanos in the biggest match of my career. Don't mean I'm overlooking you, dog. Mm-mm. Can't you, underestimate nobody in this game, man. Mm-mm. Especially Dustin. Yeah. That boy got them kicks. Yeah. Dustin took out some big dogs, too, man. And just, he's another cat that I like. Even though, like, I don't really look at y'all as in, like, came out as, like, in the same class. Mm-hmm. I see him as another potential you know what I'm saying? Up and coming star too, also. You know, homie already a star, but yeah, he gon' he gon' hold down companies. Yeah, hold sure. down divisions for sure. You know what I'm saying? Dustin is one of the most hard working people I know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It it's uh, dream team. Even though I can't stand them, they work hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nick. Work super duper hard. Mm. He just got smacked by allergies right now, man. And send my boy some well wishes again. But uh, you know, I yeah, man. You be taking cause that <laughs> man. I I want to hail marry him some energy. You know? <laughs> there you go, boy. Randy Moss that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. But you know, what I'm saying it's a lot of young cats in Texas contender series in Texas alone. Like shout out to my dog Prince Lee from Lions Pride, homie working hard. He working hard, man, bro. He working hard, man. I ain't gonna lie. I be, I be, I be you know me. I'm, mm-hmm. I be scouting. I be watching. Uh, I stay watching everybody. Even though if y'all think I'm watching, you, I, we watching. We mm-hmm. watch y'all. We might not say something, but we, <laughs> we, we, we watch. We watch. Shout out to Big Dog Zeke Rose. Yeah. Big man, Z. they killing it. Uh, the yeah. new New Texas Pro Tag Team Champions Culture Shock. Yeah. How did, well, congratulations, first of all. I was backstage anyway. I saw y'all do that. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, flowers from your boy mm-hmm. Kenny Calypso. You know what I'm saying? Good y'all shit, called folks. Danny O'Ryan. He he inspired champ. Uh, what what's the? Uh, he got the white belt. The white belt. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he beat Dimitri 
don't know how how the hell you did that, but that congratulations to you, you that and your good crazy, hair. You bro. know, from one man with good hair to another, you, you did that your is thing. Crazy. Yeah, him and Ali Summers though they, mm-hmm. they got some CJC. Yeah, they they got he got good hair, hair too. <laughs> My boy CJC got some good hair, and I heard he could cook. Coach Shock with the good hair. <laughs> <laughs> I can help with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shout out to them boys, man. Y'all keep representing. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, though, man. Keep working so, hard, man. Keep working. It is crazy out here, man. Shout out to everybody that just on this Texas indie scene, man. They're just doing their thing. They just keep going, man. And, you know, a little bit something outside of all that, man. That boy, uh, Bounty Hunter, Brian Keith, man. Big sign, man. Big sign, brother. Big sign. Well-deserved and well-earned, big homie. Man. It's cool to see one of the dogs make it. OG. Man. OG, He done man. taught me so much. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing, man. Man. Many blessings to you, my brother, man. Many congratulations to you. Uh, I just hope that God be with you, keep you healthy, Amen. keep you strong, man, keep you motivated, and you just you represent, man, for for the state of Texas, man, and mm-hmm. you put on for that North Side, you put on for that Greens Point, because I know that's where you're from, man. You do your thing, man. You just keep thugging, man. You represent, dog. Mm-hmm. Congratulations to you, my brother. This is awesome, man. I just see and just things like that. It's a lot going on for Texas, man. Mm-hmm. Texas indie scene is taking over. I mean, come on, Kenny, bro. It's just, it kind of feel like to me right now, it's just, it's meant to be, man. It, mm-hmm. That championship is calling you, my brother. Mm-hmm. I'm answering. I, I see, I see it. I, I see the light. Yeah. I see the end of the tunnel. I, I'm coming. I'm running towards it. I, I see the light. I see it. It's, it, it's meant to be, my brother. I know it. <laughs> I know it, man. Boy, I'm running like Forrest Gump to that boy. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. February 17th, I'm bringing champagne. I'm bringing hey. streamers. We popping bottles, man. man. I don't know. Hey, man. Uh, uh, um, Jerry, don't be mad at me. I might hop in the ring. I might pop the champagne. We might do a little curry stuff. Hey. Hey. We we, we getting live, man. We My getting boy. live. We getting live. We getting lit. Yeah, uh, that's all I can tell you. Uh, one thing I want to say, speaking uh, about Brian Keith, mm. you know what I'm saying? He one of the Texas gods, road gods that I didn't get to face. Really? I, uh, yeah. Man. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't get to face him. You know, it's all good. Maybe down the line, I can... uh. I can get my dog in the ring. Hey, man. One on one. Yeah. Anything is possible. possible. Hey. You feel me? <laughs> Anything is possible, my Anything boy. Anything is hey, possible. For sure. Man, but I I wrestled all, almost all the road gods. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I want to match with Kiefer. And I told him that. I want to wrestle you, dog. <laughs> you want to wrestle the sheriff? I want to wrestle the sheriff. <laughs> no. Mr. Belt Burner. <laughs> I ain't forgot about that. Nobody forgot about that. Nobody the, forgot the, about that. The craziest that. thing that happened at Loco. You no. Know, <laughs> I want to wrestle you, homie. Oh, Big man. dog. Let's let's do it on let's do it on New Texas. Booker Man. You know what I'm saying? Booker Man. Let, let's do it. Kiefer. Book it. <laughs> if it gets spokes on the big propaganda wrestling podcast, it gotta happen. Book it. Book, Book it. it. <laughs> It's got to happen. Man, I just, so I want to talk about, because I don't, you know me, I hate being biased, man, but I just, I got to be me, bro. I'm a little biased. I got to be me, bro. Of course, I feel like you're going to win this title. It is obvious. Of course, I feel like you're going to win this title, man. Look at the run I've been on in Russell Rave alone, bro. Look at the run Russell Rave has been on. Mm -hmm. And I've been a featured player. Yeah. For a long time. Yeah. Your boy from in your warehouse all the way up until now. That was November 2022. Yeah. Yeah. All the way from then until now. Your boy 
ain't been half stepping. Had one hiccup because Stephen mm-hmm. Wolf, that guy, it's a reason why he the new Texas Pro Heavyweight Champion. Shout out that vertigo is some crazy. Yeah, you know, boy. I I couldn't kick out of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. outside of that, and I'm gonna get my match with him too. Uh, uh, my my my. Uh, uh, I'm 0 for 2 right now. I'm going to get my third <laughs> match. <laughs> <With Stevie Wolf. laughs> I'm going to beat you, dog. I know I can beat you. Good looking. Mm. That but, sound like the origin of a, a villain right there. I'm going to get you. I, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I need my get back. I ain't playing with you, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh dog! Shout out to Texas up. City. Yeah man, man, shout out to Texas City man. Shout out Roll Nation. Y'all keep doing y'all thing man. <laughs> Big things going on for everybody in Texas man. It's- <sighs> Yeah, it's a it's a good time to be a Texan right now, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, it's a great time to be a Texan. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! Oh man! But yeah, dog, it's just it, it's it's a crazy time right now, man. I just feel like with you winning this championship, man, next week it could just add to that even more, brother. Like it, it's. This is a big deal, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know how everybody else look at things, but I don't know, bro. I just feel like this community is so close with each other. Everybody know everybody. And you know what I'm saying? We we communicate and we, you know what I'm saying? We we fuck with we fuck with. You know what I'm saying? And we we locked in. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Once you see somebody doing something and they they really got some motion, you support that and you fuck with it. Anything they got going on, anything they touching or doing, man, you really get in tune with that shit, man. And so it's just a different vibe that, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, it's, just, it's different, bro. So Yeah. And I say, come mm-hmm. next weekend, man, bro, I'm biased as a motherfucker, but when you win that championship, mm-hmm. I hope to be right there alongside you, my brother, celebrating with you, man. Because I wish all the best for you, man. Because I know what's coming to you. You deserve it. You've been working hard. You've been doing your thing for a long time, man. And it's it's well-deserved, man. It's well-deserved. Thank you. Did this all by just being myself, having fun. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that's, all I, that's all I ever wanted to do. That's why everything that I'm, I'm getting is just overwhelming. Because I'm just trying to get better. Yeah, for sure. I'm just sure. trying to be a better wrestler, a better performer. You know, that's that's all I'm trying to do. For sure. That's all we all want to do, man. That's all we all want to do. But, man, it's been surreal once again. Always chopping up with my boy Kenny, man. Just before we get up out of here, you want to give him any closing remarks, any statements, anything you want to plug in right now? You know, you got a lot going on, man. This this You the man of the hour. So, you know what I'm saying? This This is your moment. This is your time. Just let them know what's up, Kenny. Dustin Wynn and Max Castellanos. I'm better than I've ever been before. I'm still going to training. I'm still in the gym. Barely getting sleep. You know, it's it's not a game to me. So, Dustin, I'm coming to the Sky Temple, and I'm taking you further up. To Planet Dread. And let's see how you do over there. Max, like I said, you look like a champion, but I got the heart of the champion. Houston Premier Arena is my place. I'm the heart and soul of that building. I'm the heart and soul of multiple promotions. And Wrestle Rave will become my stomping ground. Like I said, fans, bring the pineapples, bring the streamers, bring them to both shows. Because Kenny Calypso is going to continue to rise to the occasion. And I'm about to make history like I said I was going to do. First black Russell Rave heavyweight champion. 
King Nick Calypso, ladies and gentlemen. But say they going to Planet Dread. I'm taking them both to Planet Dread. And that chair man. You were walking around with chairs. Well, I'm about to take that chair and uh, drink some pineapple juice in there, boy. But say ain't no help though. Boy, get high, never come down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Restricted <laughs> air flow up there. I got the lungs for it. You know what I'm Do you, Max? Do you, Dustin? Let them know, cuz. We'll see. Man, so y'all know what it is, man. Y'all keep rocking with the movement, man. Big Propaganda Wrestling Podcast Network, PWO for Life, man. The man himself, man. The man from Planet Dread, the Pineapple Lord, Kenny Calypso, man. Thanks for rocking with the PWO. Boom, we at. I was born for this, I was born for this, I was born for this, I was born for this right here. Say it till the doubt disappears. Proven. More than a shoe. It's you.